behold the birds of the air consider the lilies of the field matthew six twenty six but thou wilt say perhaps with the poet and thou art immensely pleased when the poet talks thus oh would i were a bird or would i were like a bird like a free bird which gratifies its wanderlust by flying far far away over sea and land so near to heaven unto distant climes ah poor me who feel only too much bound to the spot bound and nailed there where i am the mark of daily cares and sufferings and adversities compelled to dwell there and for the whole duration of my life oh would i were a bird or would i were like a bird which rises into the air lighter than the air itself oh would i were like the airy bird which when it lacks a footing can build its nest upon the surface of the sea while i alas with every slightest movement even when i merely turn upon my bed feel how gravity weighs me down Ha! if only the gospel might succeed with the aid of the lilies and the birds in teaching thee my hearer seriousness and me too in making thee perfectly silent before god that thou in silence mightest forget thyself what thy name is thine own name the renowned name the pitiful name the insignificant name for the sake of praying in silence to god hallowed be thy name that thou in silence mightest forget thyself thy plans the great and all comprehensive plans or the petty plans regarding thy life and its future for the sake of praying in silence to god thy kingdom come that thou in silence mightest forget thy will thy self-will for the sake of praying in silence to god thy will be done yea if thou couldst learn from the lilies and the birds to become perfectly silent before god what might not the gospel help thee to accomplish then nothing would be impossible for thee but if only the gospel with the aid of the lilies and the birds has taught thee silence how much has it already helped thee to accomplish for as has been said the fear of god is the beginning of wisdom and so is silence the beginning of godly fear go to the ant and be wise says solomon go to the birds and the lilies and learn silence says the gospel those are two quotes from soaring kierkegaard's the lilies of the field and the birds of the air three godly discourses published in copenhagen in eighteen forty nine walter lorry translation